Hello friends, uh, welcome again. And this is new my new project, Hotel Management System. And uh, this project I have developed in the Python and the Django and for database I'm using the uh, MySQL. So the version of Python currently I'm using is the Python version 2.7 and the MySQL uh, and the MySQL version is 5.6 and the Django version is 1.11. For connecting the database means the MySQL with the Python I'm using the Python, uh, Python, Django, MySQL connector, and you will get easily from the MySQL.org website. Okay, and you can easily install on your system. So, for front end, I am using the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and some of the jQuery library for integration for integrating the validation plugin and it's in. So, let's start with the project functionality. So, this is the home page of the project. And this is a very basic project with the CRUD application, create, read, and update, delete operations, which I have developed in the Python, Django, and MySQL. So this is the home page, and the information is coming from the database. Sorry, is not coming from the database. Means it's totally static page. This is about. It's also coming, not coming from the database. It's all. It's coming from the HTML page. This is the contact us. I'm not saving the information of this contact us anywhere in the database. Right, and this is the login. From where admin will be able to log in and manage the information. So the user ID and password is admin and test. And if you click on the sign in, then you will be able to see all of the information which is currently available here and what the admin can perform. <coughs> also, this is the drop down. This is the jQuery drop down, and this operations admin can perform. Right. So I am going one by one. This is the add customer. From where admin will be able to add the customer, add new customer and those customers will be saved inside the database right and uh, this is the add room from where uh, admin will be able to add the rooms and also the room details will be saved inside the database this is the room booking means this is the booking from from where uh, admin will be make the bookings for the customer for that admin will choose the customer from here and this drop down contains only those customers which has been added by admin means this is totally dynamic drop down and it contains only and only the information which is available in the database. This is a select room. So this also this program also contains uh, only and only the rooms which is available. Right. This is the from date. So you can see this is the date plugin, and uh, this is the booking status. And this status is also coming from the database and the total amount of description. That this is the add booking section. This is the room billing. So if you want to make the billing, then you can uh, make the billing from here. Miss admin can make the bill from here. So what is the room then? Food bill, laundry bill, and the description. Just a room cleaning request means admin can take the room cleaning request for any of the customers. So for that, admin will choose the cleaning uh, request room number first. And after that, he will choose the month and after the description. And once you click on the submit, the data will be saved inside the database. <laughs> This is the room food request, same as the cleaning. If customer means the uh, who have who has booked the room, if he requests for the any of the food services, then admin can add the food services here. And then room laundry services means if uh, customer requests for the laundry services, then admin can in uh, enter, admin can enter all of the information on the laundry services here, right? This is the reporting from where customer will be able to edit and delete the report. So you can see uh, it's coming here. This is the room report. All of the room which has been added by admin will be displayed here, <coughs> right? So you can see this is updated such way. This is the booking report. So all of the bookings which has been made by customer is coming here, right? And you can see the booking details here also on clicking on the. This is a cancelled booking. So if um, yeah, admin makes the status cancelled, then all the cancelled uh, information will be displayed here, right? This is a room billing report. So all of the bills which have been made by admin will be displayed here, right? This is the room cleaning. Sorry, uh, this is the room cleaning request. All of the cleaning request which has been entered by <coughs> admin will be displayed here, and after that, uh, same for the room food report and room laundry report you can also edit and delete the informations from here right so if you want to delete it then you can delete it also 
this the record has been deleted this is a change password from where admin will be able to change his password and uh, after that uh, he will be able to log in and log in using the new password for that admin needs to enter his old password and after that the new password and the confirmed password the above session is totally dynamic means it's session driven if you log out then the above menu will be changed according to the admin uh, admin permissions so if admin log inside the system then the above menu will be changed so this is all about the hotel management system which i have developed this has only and only single user will login that is the admin there is no customer login for the project so, right so if you need more enhancement in this project and need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes and i will make this project more better and better according to the requirements so just put it in the put your requirements or what's up the requirements requirements or email the requirements i will make this project according to that and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest video updates on the latest noises thanks for watching the video thank you very much